my little brush flies welcome back to my channel brush fly mua if you're new here hi my name is mercedes nice to meet you and if you are new please consider hitting that subscribe button and if you're not new hi welcome back make sure you're subscribed today's video is going to be a little bit of a chatty video i have literally 15 minutes to film today i was really hoping to be able to do like a proper makeup -y video but life is just not with me this week my endometriosis has flared up so i'm feeling proper ugh. hence the really minimal makeup today i also have my covid jab booked in i've got to go for that in an hour's time so i literally have 15 minutes to film a video ready for you guys for friday so i was like what can i do if i haven't got time to put makeup on but then last night I was looking through my TikTok and it hadn't notified me of all the comments I got on all my videos. And I was looking through and some of them were a bit like, ooh, really? And then some of them were quite nice. So I thought, well, why don't I go through, look at all my comments and pick out some and chat about it. So this kind of video is just going to be... So yeah, this video is just going to be reading through my TikTok comments and sort of replying back, but not replying back on TikTok because some of them I kind of just want to leave alone. But some of them I was like, do you know what? That, yeah, I'll just, we'll just have a chat. As you can tell, I'm not feeling 100%. I'm so tired, literally last night. I did quite a bit yesterday and mowed the grass and hoovered the house from top to bottom, put all the washing away, put the kids up from school. I had to dash around trying to get change for this disco that they're going to have. Because like the tickets for the disco has to be the right change, but literally every shop I went to, either their cash machine was broken, they didn't do cash back, or they didn't have enough change in the till. So by nine o'clock last night, I was flipping knackered. So yeah, this is just going to be one of those where I can just sort of chill and talk about TikToky videos. So, let's go through. Okay, so the first video I'm going to talk about and like the comments is one where I'm eating lipstick. It sounds as nice as I've put it. Um, I was fairly new to TikTok. I was going through and I saw a few other people do this and I was like, I can do that. I own loads of lipstick. So I'm going to quickly show you the video, I am going to take the sound out of it and just put my own sound in, but the actual sound on my TikTok is munching, it's ooh, but it's kind of funny, but I'm going to show you it anyway because you know, it'll be fun, but yeah, I've taken the sound out because obviously I don't own the rights to the sounds or anything, so let's, let's just have a look. As you can see, I was eating lipstick and I actually did really eat a lipstick. I had multiple MAC lipsticks in that shade. I went to an event, my mum came with me the other year. We both got a goodie bag, she gave me hers. So I got duplicates of that shade. And I was like, do you know what? That one doesn't smell too good anyway. So we'll just go there and do this. So I'm going to put up on the screen like the comments I can see. So the first one, she's a person that actually comments on quite a few of mine. She's just put why, which I think is quite funny because yeah, why would you eat lipstick? You really, really wouldn't, would you? Um, the next person has put, um, are you okay? Probably not. If I'm crazy enough to eat lipstick, I'm probably not okay. <laughs> um, it was just a bit of fun. I just, you know, I saw someone else doing it. I thought it would be funny. My kids found it absolutely hilarious. And then someone else has put, what the actual truck? Then they've put, me sideways. And then the F word. No, thank you. I don't do anything sideways. But, you know, it is a really random video so yeah I kind of get the whole what the truck because why would you eat lipstick what the 
you know, that kind of reaction. I don't know whether they were like being funny about it or whether they just were like, what the hell? You know what I mean, that kind of thing. So yeah, that is like the first video of comments that are just like, mm? But you know, they're not horrendous. I don't think I've actually got really like any horrendous comments that are like offensive or horrible or trolling. I might have and might just not know, but um, we'll just have a look. So let's scroll through my ones and have a look. Okay, so the next one is for my first ever Creator Revolution entry. I got a few comments, which I will put up on the screen, telling me to like check out their entry, which is fine because, you know, as long as they've sort of liked yours and you like back, then it's kind of good. Plus, I quite often scroll through and if I like the look, even if it's a competition I'm taking part in and I want to win, obviously everyone wants to win, I will still like other people's because that's what you do. You know, and other people have put well done, hearty eyes. I'm going to put the video in here so you can see what video I'm talking about. You can see that was my first competition entry and actually that is the reason why I signed up to TikTok. Before this I didn't have a TikTok. I really really didn't. Um, I'd signed up to it last year, I sort of, I didn't really do very much on it, I just watched other people's videos. It wasn't really for me and then obviously this competition came up and they were like you can only enter it if you're on TikTok and you do all that and I was like well I really want to enter it because it's a really damn good competition so a lot of my videos that I've done you know I'm fairly new to TikTok so a lot of people are gonna look at them and be like why did she do that um but I'll get there so let's have a look through at some more okay so the next one I have I've gone through all my revolution eyeshadow palettes that I owned at the time of filming this. I'm pretty sure I have more palettes now. <laughs> it's revolution, I love revolution. So I'm gonna quickly show you the video. Yeah, as you can see, I had a few palettes, but I now have more. Um, but yeah, I had one comment on there, I'll put it up on the screen. And they put they got the Friends palette a couple of days ago, wearing the Phoebe in my latest TikToks. You know, that's awesome how people are interacting and they're like, yay, you know, you love the Friends palettes too. So do I. Because I actually love looking through and seeing other people's opinions on the palettes that I own. Because, you know, if I really love a palette and someone else doesn't, I'm a bit like, oh, why? I found it really good. But then, vice versa, I might have hated a palette and they love it. And I'm like, but how did you love it? So I do like seeing other people's creations with eyeshadow because then you can really see, you know, oh, it didn't work for me. Maybe I can change it around a bit and it could potentially work for me. So that's that one. What other ones do we have? Oh, okay, so the one I have the most comments on is not even a makeup y video. I'm obsessed with Charmed, the original Charmed. From my childhood, my teenage years, I loved it. So I made a video because I found something where you can sort of freeze time, like you can freeze raindrops, which I thought was amazing. And I put on any on there, did anyone else want to be Piper from Charmed? Because she was the one that could freeze time. And she was actually my favourite witch out of the Charmed ones. So I'm going to show you the video. So that was the video. And I got 78 comments. I'll show you a few, you know, most people put, what a good show that was, yeah, we love her. And then there was a mixture of, no, I wanted to be Paige, I wanted to be Phoebe. Um, 
for this one this this actually makes me laugh bless her she put yep except i became phoebe toxic demon husband and all haha <laughs> now just waiting on my cupid and i just want to say i really really do hope you find your cupid i'm pretty sure your cupid is out there somewhere and you know the demon husband can stay in the underworld somewhere um you know other people put piper is the best i wanted prue's powers prue or page absolutely she had the best powers and i related to her life choices i think i actually really relate to piper as well especially now i'm older because she was like the mumsy one of the charmed ones like she would she'd had her kids and she was battling demons but also battling being a parent and it was kind of funny watching like the normal mumsy struggles but from a witchy point of view so yeah you know i absolutely love that video and the fact that that is my highest commented on video maybe i should do some more charmed videos okay so my next video is one of my first ever ones so i wasn't fully accustomed to how tiktok worked so i'm going to post it in here so you can see it. So the one comment I have on there is, why are the pictures so small? Because I filmed it on my phone and then I did it on Power Director, like I edited it on there. And you have to like work out which size one you want. And I clicked on the wrong size, which was like the YouTube size, but it shrunk it down because I work off my phone a lot when I edit on what I edit my videos on because I can't turn the screen around and look straight at it and still get like the right angle it does tend to just shrink everything so if you look at one of my videos and they're quite small I'm sorry that is why I am now getting accustomed to doing it the right way so not all my videos are as small but if I have done them from my power point no what's it called from my power director app then they will probably be smaller so let's have a look for another one so this one i saw going around it's like it's got the eminem song back and it's it's really funny like the noise in it and it all it went round TikTok like a little bit of a craze and people were like, you know, oh, what you shouldn't say to so and so, what you shouldn't say to so and so. So I did it for a makeup artist, so I'm gonna show you. And the comments I got on this were so sweet, one of my friends commented because obviously I put you know what people say to me as makeup artists like you shouldn't wear so much you'd look better without it, it gives you acne you're a mum you shouldn't be playing with makeup and bless my friend Jess I'll put the comment on the screen but wear as much or as little as you like you are beautiful either way <laughs> um I don't really see that but thank you very much Jess that um makes me feel a bit better especially when I wake up looking like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards because I have scarecrow hair um you know thank you at least I know I look beautiful to someone <laughs> I'm joking my husband says I don't look too bad I think he's lying though so let's have a look at another one okay so this one I was playing around with a number seven eyeshadow palette I think it was the maple oh maple glow maybe i'd got it last year or the year before when number seven were doing a thing like if you bought free products you got a face palette for free and it had eyeshadow face stuff whatnot so in this it's like a makeup transition i've gone from minging to okay so i'll show you the video As you can see very happy me at the end because I like my eyeshadow 
but I really like this girl's comment. So she's put, go queen, girl boss, you look like Katy Perry. I personally don't see it. My husband says sometimes if I do a certain face or I wear my hair in a certain way or do my makeup in a certain way, I can sometimes look a bit like her. I've had customers at work tell me that I look a bit like Katy Perry before the whole lockdown business and you had to wear masks. I had a few people say, oh, you look a bit like Katy Perry. I personally can't see it. But thank you so much because I love Katy Perry. So, you know, maybe I should start, you know, doing that whole uh, impersonator business, being Katy Perry. I don't know why my accent went funny, but, you know, thank you very much. Let's see if there's any more. Okay, so this one. I was so happy about because I follow a makeup YouTuber called Alex Kate and she does some amazing reviews over on her YouTube. I will link her channel down below so you can see how amazing she is. But she did a TikTok, which I thought was really, really funny. And it's using the levitating song by Dua Lipa where it goes, you want me, 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 me. Yeah, you know, I can't really sing it. My voice isn't great, but also, you know, the whole copyright thing. So I'm going to show you the video because I really like the comments. So that was my little video and I'll put on the screen the comment because Alex Kate, who inspired me to do that one, liked it and commented on it. She put, girl, it's so true, isn't it? Yes, it is because new makeup releases come out. You're skint, you're broke, you don't want any more, but you really do. Um, so I did tag her in it, and I was like, I did this one because I saw you do it, and I thought it was really cool and funny, and I was so made up that she liked it. So, yeah, amazing. Love Alex Kate, you should definitely go and check her out. She is amazing. And the last one. So this one, I'm a bit confused about. So I did my final makeup revolution competition entry and I got a comment on it but I don't really understand it so I'll show you the video yeah that was the entry for the last revolution or creator revolution hidden talent it was like part three they did it in three parts i took part in all of them so if i remember i'll try and link them down below so you can go see them but the comment i got was someone tagging someone else and then doing crying faces so i was a bit sort of like oh oh i don't know why and i've come up with a couple of reasons number one they thought my makeup was so bad that they felt sorry for me and thought they had to cry or they had a similar idea and I maybe did it before them. I'm not sure. Um, so with this one, what I did was I bought the new Revolution brand. So they now do a new one called Relove. So I bought literally a full face of products from that and decided that I was gonna incorporate it into my Creative Revolution competition entry because my hidden talent, I think, is buying makeup from Revolution. Or at least that's what my husband tells me anyway. So I decided for that, I was going to review the full face of makeup at the same time as doing the TikTok. Oh my god, that was such a stressful video to do. But you know, I was kind of pleased with how it came out, but I still think it could have been a bit better. But at the end of the day, I've tried, that's all I can do. So yeah, I don't know whether the crying faces was because their idea was the same as mine and I went ahead and did it and then, I don't know, maybe it derailed their plans. Or whether they are so sad for my makeup skills because they're pants compared to some people. I don't know. Do I really care? Possibly not. You know, I film TikToks because they're fun to do, you know. I quite like the makeup transition ones where you look, you wake up and you look a bit mm, minging, and then you transition into this okay person. I was going to say beautiful person, but okay, we go for okay. 
you know, and I love watching the ones where they're like, how I tricked my husband into marrying me, or from naught to 10 in five easy steps, you know. I love all those sorts of videos, so, and I love makeup. That's why I do YouTube, because I like makeup. So yeah, I hope you liked my quick little video. I hope it was quick. I need to dash now, actually, on, like, just reading through the comments on my TikToks. It was kind of fun. If I get any more comments that I think are kind of cool and I want to put in a video, I'll do that. And, you know, if you guys want to do this kind of video, tag me in it because I will want to watch it. I mean, I've had a look through YouTube and I've seen other people reacting to negative comments. So, you know, it's definitely a thing that people do. But yeah, word of warning, just be kind to people though. You know, I'm quite thick skinned. I don't really care what people put, but other people might not be as thick skinned as me and will care. So just remember, be kind to each other and only say something if it's worth saying. Don't be mean just for the sake of it. So I'm gonna dash, wish me luck with my COVID vaccine and I'll see you all later. Bye.